G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. Today we're continuing our look at the skin. Uh, and today, um, this episode, we're going to focus on um, all of the features which we can actually see uh, at low magnification uh, within the dermis. Because it can be a little bit you know, overwhelming. What are all these weird sort of circular things? What's going on? What are all of these things that we can find within the dermis? These are the accessory structures of the dermis. Um, so we're going to focus on that in this uh, video. Um, and so let's start our three minutes. So if you watched our other videos, you know that the skin is divided into two layers, the epidermis, which is the stratified squamous uh, keratinized epithelium on the surface, and then we have the dermis here. And that can be subdivided into two layers, the papillary dermis, a layer of loose connective tissue immediately beneath the epidermis, and then the predominant part of the skin, which is the reticular dermis, made up of dense irregular connective tissue. But what are all these weird looking things that are found within the dermis? What's this sort of bulk? thing here and why have they got holes over here looks like you know a couple of eyes um, and if we zoom around you know what the heck is that um, there's a weird looking thing with a big moustache who knows what's going on um, I know what's going on so it's okay don't panic uh, we can talk about it so what these uh, represent are actually hair follicles different uh, components of all the larger structures known as pilosebaceous apparatus. Uh, pilosebaceous apparatus means hair follicle, um, it means sebaceous glands, and it also means uh, erect pili muscle. So these um, uh, hair follicles are actually downgrowth of the epidermis, and this is actually a nice um, uh, evidence of that. You can see the connection of the strata basal here uh, to this glancing section through the hair follicle. So we haven't gone all the way through it. We've just done this little glancing section through it. This structure here, this is actually a sebaceous gland. And sebaceous glands are secrete a substance called sebum. It's a lipid-based substance uh, that's released next to the hair follicle that makes its way onto the surface and keeps your uh, skin nice and soft. Um, so they're, they're really helpful there. This little structure next to it, you might be able to see this acidophilic tissue. This is actually smooth muscle. And this is part of a... Um, uh, layer known as the erector pili muscle and they help to uh, make your hair hair stand up on end they're responsible for giving you goosebumps when you get scared or cold um, and so they actually cause uh, contraction of the hair follicles and making them to stand up on end they trap warm air particles near the skin and try to conserve heat there other structures which we can see, again, we've got two hair follicles uh, in this section here. We've got two sebaceous glands. You can actually see a little bit of the erector pili muscle here again. Um, down here, this structure is actually an eccrine sweat gland. Uh, so if we zoom in a little bit, uh, this is the secretory portion of the eccrine sweat gland and then this darker region, this is the duct portion. And eventually that will make its way to the surface. Uh, eccrine sweat glands release via the surface. You can probably actually see a little bit of its duct making its way up here. We often see uh, these little weird squiggles uh, amongst the uh, epidermis and these are where the uh, sweat duct is actually spiraling its way and making its way to the surface as a sweat pore. So the sweat's made down here uh, with the eccrine sweat gland. It makes its way to the surface and is released onto the surface here uh, at the sweat pore. So that was an overview of uh, interpreting low magnified views of the skin, particularly the dermis. Hopefully you found that useful. We'll look at the structure of the dermis in a little bit more detail in future videos. So I hope you'll join me. Hooroo!